We will start with a plain vanilla installation of Windows 10. The system on the screen right now is just that. I've installed Windows 10 with just the defaults. I haven't done anything special, nor have I tweaked the installation in any way. There are two ways to install Xamarin Android for use with Visual Studio. I'm going to start by showing you the Visual Studio 2015 installer. This is an easy way to install Xamarin Platform along with everything you might need or want in your development environment. Since Visual Studio 2015 is still very new and I'm recording this, I also think it's important to show you how to install Xamarin Platform using Xamarin's Universal Installer. This has a small advantage in that it also installs Xamarin Studio, the IDE that ships with Xamarin Platform. This isn't important to us since we're focused on using Visual Studio as our IDE, but if you want both, you can use Xamarin Universal Installer after you've installed Visual Studio to install the entire Xamarin offering. I'm going to use an ISO image of Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise, which I obtained for my MSDN subscription. However, this process is the same with any version of Visual Studio, including the Community Edition. Xamarin is fully compatible with the free Community Edition of Visual Studio 2013 and later. You can use Visual Studio 2010 if you want to, but you have to use Professional. I have the Visual 2015 ISO in my Downloads folder, so I'll double-click it and mount it. Alternatively, I could have burned the ISO to DVD and run it directly, but mounting the ISO directly is much faster. Personally, I like this method for installing better than using the web installer because the ISO has everything on it while the installer has to download everything on the fly, which can take a long time and be prone to network problems. From here, I'll run the Visual Studio installer in the root of the mounted ISO. I'm going to choose a custom install so I can show you where the options for Xamarin are. To find Xamarin Tools, I need to go to the section titled Cross-Platform Mobile Development and expand the section by clicking the triangle. From here, make sure to select the option for Xamarin and the Visual Studio Emulator for Android. Next, I'll expand the Common Tools and Software Development Kits option, and within that list, I'll check all of the options for Android and the Java SE Development Kit. I recommend you use the option to install this exact version of the JDK, since it is the one required by Xamarin Android. Naturally, if you have other JDKs installed, this one will not interfere with what you already have. While you're here, check any additional boxes for items you might want for your own work. Since I'm just checking what I need for Android development, I'm finished here. With my install options set, there's nothing left to do but start the installation. You should be prepared for the installation to take a fair amount of time. I usually allot at least an hour for the installer to run. Since I'm guessing you don't want to watch the progress bar on the installer edge across the screen while that happens, I'll pause the recording and return when it's complete. If you're not using Visual Studio 2015, you can easily install the requirements for Xamarin Android by using Xamarin's Universal Installer. To get the installer, just log into their website with your Xamarin ID and click the download link. You will need to have Visual Studio already installed. And just a reminder, it needs to be 2010 Professional or later. If you want to use 2013, you can use the Community Edition and that will work just fine. On this computer, I've installed Visual Studio 2013 Community Edition, and I've taken the liberty of downloading the Xamarin Universal Installer and placing it on my desktop, so I'll just run the installer. This will install all of the requirements including the required Java Development Kit, the Android SDK, the Android Native Development Kit, or NDK, and Xamarin Studio. For this installer, I'm just going to pick all the default options. Now that the Xamarin installer is running, and since there's nothing to see after this completes, let's just move on to another topic.